I'm Rand Paul. My father taught me the value of commitment to faith, family, and our Constitution. The Tea Party began as a protest against politicians who supported more debt and bigger government. My father, Ron Paul, stood against the establishment and against government bailouts. He's always stayed true to his principles and convictions. He won't falter, he won't bend, and he will restore what made America great. In the 80s, they did it to Reagan. A debt ceiling compromise. Democrats promising spending cuts, but delivering only tax hikes. The 90s brought more compromises, more broken promises, and more new taxes. This August, the next chapter will be written. A defining moment. 14 trillion in debt, millions unemployed, the dollar in decline. We know where they stand. But will our party's leaders repeat the mistakes of the past? Will they choose compromise or conviction? One candidate has always been true. Ron Paul, cut spending, balance the budget, no deals. Standing up to the Washington machine, guided by principle. It's the story of a lost city, lost opportunity, lost hope. A story of failed policies, failed leadership. A story of smooth-talking politicians, games of he said, she said, rhetoric and division. One man has stood apart, stood strong and true. Voting against every tax increase, every unbalanced budget, every time. Standing up to the Washington machine, guided by principle. Ron Paul, the one who will stop the spending, save the dollar, create jobs, bring peace. The one who will restore liberty. Ron Paul, the one who can beat Obama. The establishment called him extreme and unelectable. They said he was the wrong man for the job. It's why a young Texan named Ron Paul was one of only four congressmen to endorse Ronald Reagan's campaign for president, believing in Reagan's message of smaller government and lower taxes. We arrived in Vietnam in September, September the 14th. We were fighting what was called the Viet Cong. They broke through our lines and we had to go hand to hand with them. I was actually one of the nine out of 56 that came back after one whole year. And that's hard to forget. We had 75 killed and 115 wounded. Vietnam was hell. We had never been thanked for our service. Never. Congressman Ron Paul got my medals for me and presented them to me. That was an awesome feeling. People break down and cry because they're getting the medals that they finally deserved. It takes a veteran to understand a veteran, and he is a veteran himself. Ron Paul is a veteran's best friend. He said, thank you for your service, and shook our hand and gave us a hug. That will always be there. Ron Paul, a veteran with a plan to keep America secure, protect America by securing our borders and rebuilding our defenses, not by acting as the world's policemen, spending trillions nation building overseas. The Paul plan for security? Start protecting America's borders. Stop wasting American money. Dr. Ron Paul. More than 4,000 babies delivered. A man of faith, committed to protecting life. This whole notion of uh, life not being valuable just is something I was never able to accept. I happened to walk into an operating room where they were doing a, uh, an abortion on a late pregnancy. They lifted out a small baby that was able to cry and breathe. And they put it in a little bucket and put it in the corner of the room and pretended it wasn't there. I walked down the hallway and a baby was born early, slightly bigger than the baby that they just put in a bucket. They wanted to save this baby. So they might have had 10 doctors in there doing everything conceivable. Who are we to decide that we pick and throw one away and pick up and struggle to save the other ones? Unless we resolve this and understand that life is precious and we must protect life, we can't protect liberty. 
economy seemingly on the brink of collapse. High unemployment sticking around. New foreclosures jumped 20 percent. All out from the debt crisis. Seven million jobs lost. The nation's debt keeps surging. Change has come to America. Need for economic stimulus. Where are the people that say all of this stuff is socialism? Government's too big. The role of government ought to be for the protection of liberty, not for the intrusion in economic affairs. We've spent too much, we tax too much, we borrow too much. It's bankrupting this country. I've been talking about these problems for a long, long time. Now we're bankrupt and we have to decide which way we're going to go. Ron Paul, a visionary who predicted the financial crisis, a leader with a plan to solve it. The Paul Plan? Balance the budget. Cut a trillion dollars year one. Eliminate five federal bureaucracies. End the foreign wars and nation building. Rein in the Federal Reserve. Pay down the debt. Cut taxes to create jobs. Ron Paul, a plan to restore America now. What's up with these sorry politicians? Lots of bark. When it's showtime, whimpering like little shih tzus. You want big cuts? Ron Paul's been screaming it for years. Budget crisis? No problem. Cut a trillion bucks year one. That's trillion with a T. Department of Education? Gone. Interior? Energy? HUD? Commerce? Gone. Later, bureaucrats. That's how Ron Paul rolls. Want to drain the swamp? Ron Paul. Do it. Dr. Ron Paul, more than 4,000 babies delivered, a man of faith, committed to protecting life. Some people need to have a good word said about them. Ron is the sort of person that his, his life is his good word. You know, you just knew that Ron cared about you. Life begins at conception, in my opinion, and as a result, I love to go to a doctor who felt the same way. He not only um, protects unborn life, but he also um, walks through journeys with women and he has for years. I love the fact that he hadn't changed in all these years. Ron's still the same guy, still saying the same things, and now all these years later, still standing his ground. Ron did not let Washington change him. It's not hard for someone who is a Christian and who truly believes to stay on the right path, and I think that's what kind of person Ron Paul is. America has to have someone like Ron Paul today. There is no question. Lost opportunity, lost hope. A story of failed policies, failed leadership. A story of smooth talking politicians, insider deals, games of he said, she said, rhetoric and division. One man has stood apart, stood strong and true. Voting against every tax increase, every unbalanced budget, every time. Standing up to the Washington machine, guided by principle. Ron Paul, the one with a plan to cut a trillion dollars year one, eliminate the waste, balance the budget. Ron Paul, the one we can trust. The Washington machine is strangling our economy. Politicians who supported bailouts and mandates, serial hypocrites and flip-floppers can't clean up the mess. One man stands alone. A real plan to cut a trillion dollars year one. Balance the budget in three. Consistent, incorruptible, guided by faith and principle. Ron Paul, the one we've been looking for. America is in trouble. Washington is a disgrace. Government has become too big. It's overtaxing, overspending. We need to change direction. We really need change. We can't afford to make the same mistakes we've made in the past. Mitt Romney's reputation as a flip-flopper. He went the other way when he got paid to go the other way. There is need for economic stimulus. It's about serial hypocrisy. This election is about trust. There's been one true consistent candidate, and that's Dr. Ron Paul. Ron Paul has been so consistent from the very beginning. He seems like a more honest candidate. He tells the truth about what he believes, whether you like it or not. He's never once voted for a tax increase, never once voted for an unbalanced budget. Ron Paul's plan is bold, cut five departments. It's what we need. When he says he's going to cut a trillion dollars in the first year, I believe it. If you don't like how things are going and you're tired of politicians, he's something different. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Is the one we've been looking for. 
a flip-flopper who's been on all sides, supported TARP bailouts, and provided the blueprint for Obamacare. One man stands apart, ready to deliver real change, voting against every tax increase and every unbalanced budget every time. A real plan to cut a trillion dollars year one and to balance the budget in three. Pro-life, pro-right to work, guided by faith and principle. Ron Paul, the one who will restore America now. It's almost like an Etch-a-Sketch. You can shake it up and we start all over again. This is an Etch-a-Sketch. An Etch-a-Sketch. How many of you ever used an Etch-a-Sketch? How's your etching and sketching? You shake it up like an Etch-a-Sketch. Shake like an Etch-a-Sketch. Where's my Etch-a-Sketch at? Do you have an Etch-a-Sketch? We're talking about big things here, folks. Ron Paul, and I approve this message.